I could just look it up. I've been trying to avoid looking stuff up. That big jellyfish. That had, oh my god. Okay. Alright. Oh, how we do? died yet on this floor, so I think we're doing okay. Okay, yeah, we did fine. Sadly, they don't leave anything behind. Come back! I hate random traps. Get to the big jellyfish. Do I know how to cook? Uh, I know very little about cooking. For 60 pokos, the scrumptious shell. Bring your total to 12,804. Yeah, I'm not super well versed in the art of cooking. Um, I just, for most of my life, haven't needed to be the one to cook. So, I'm, like I said, I'm not super well versed. Oh, he's absolutely trying to kill me. Alright, here we go. He's sucking us up. Shit, dude. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Bet. You need to teach me next time I come over. Maybe. Definitely worth thinking about. For 140 Pocos, the mirrored stage. Bringing our total to 12,950. After a 17 hour flight. I mean, not wrong. That is a very long flight. However, I do need to do more cooking. I don't care how many of you end up on the dead body. I just need to get as many people as possible onto this. Nah, it's in walking distance. Oh yeah, let me just walk for a few thousand hours and become Jesus briefly so I can walk on water. And then just walk across the ocean. Doing alright, how about you, Lucas? We're on sub level 3, and I've lost 9 Pikmin. <laughs> but better than I expected. <gasps> oh, I didn't. Uh, I thought I cleared. Oh, hi. Come on. You know you wanna. You know you wanna. Bruh. Here. Come at me. Fuck him up. Fuck 
you mean he didn't die? Are you kidding me? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh. Okay, fuck. I fucked. Oh, somebody's dead. Nobody's dead! Ugh, good. So, wait, where's the treasure? I'm confused. Doing well, finish Shredder's Revenge with Patrick, Darth, and some other friends. Nice! I didn't know you guys finished it. Oh. Oh shit! Two and a half hours at most for a single playthrough. It's not super long games, but two to two and a half. Good to know. I haven't thought about the turtles much in quite a while. Sixty Pocos, the Vorpal Platter, bringing our total to thirteen thousand sixteen. It was fun, very chaotic, but fun. Good. Glad you guys had fun. All right, down we go. Yeah, it's um. Good six player co op. Yeah, it must be hard to get six players together for that. Or maybe not. What the. It is. Were you guys like trying to plan that for a while? This is a very long tunnel. Is that the faster way? I mean, fine, but whatever. For ten pokos. The arboreal frippery, I mean weed. Bringing our total to 13,033. This is 100% arrest for. Okay. Good to know. You enjoy weed? Yes.
Wait, where the? Where did they go? Oh. How did they get? Wait. Huh? They went down to that. Or did they go over this way? They went over this way. We lost someone. How did we lose somebody? There he is. Yes, I am walking in a huge freaking circle for no reason. But there is technically a reason. I wanted to get all of my guys over here for this. And make sure I had all of them. And see, I still didn't have all of them. What color is the strongest? Um... Depends on what you're measuring their strengths by. If you're talking about, like, carrying strength, the purples. If you're talking about battle strength, the reds. The whites are, have the best eyes. They can see stuff that are buried underground. The yellows are immune to electricity, which for every other type in this game is instant death. Blues are the only ones that can survive in, in deeper waters. So they each have their own strengths and weaknesses. Except in the first game. In the first game, the yellows were absolutely useless. Except for bomb rocks. Alright, we're opening strong with puffy blowhogs and fire spouts. Awesome. Although the purples are a little bit, uh, more than just their carry strength. Thanks, Lucas. Hope you have, hope you have a good night. The purples do have the added bonus of also potentially stunning enemies. Oh, there's a wall there. Sure, I'll throw everybody on this wall. Are there any colors that I think is useless? Uh, not in this game. In the first game, yes, absolutely. Like I said, the yellows are basically useless in the first game. But in this one? No, not really. Cover. 100 Pocos, the Pondering Emblem, bringing our total to 13,146. Right. 
what's up here. That's water, so I definitely need to throw some blues in there. Uh-oh. Well, he's fucked. He did it too. <gasps> the blues saved him! thing of beach cliff sardines 130 focos the endless repository brings our total to 13,285 Squad of 90 men is gonna kill anything, right? How long do you think you need for 100%? Um, me personally, I'm not sure. There's like a, there is a website that can give you an estimate of what it takes to get through a game. Oh, those guys died. Let me look up this game on how long to beat. How long to beat.com. Pikmin 2. Pikmin 2 takes most people 25 and a half hours to complete. So for me, let's say closer to 30 because I'm not great at the game. on door duty. Except for those two who wanted to just stand there and watch. For 90 Pocos, the Broken Food Master. 13,385. Although it is worth noting, I am a good chunk of the way through the game already. So which obviously won't take me the full number of hours. 56... And... 30, yep, that's all of them. Like, two of the four areas are already 100% completed 